Sam Farkas, the Indiana Gourmet, and your host for this week's episode of That's Inedible! <laughs> That's Inedible is brought to you by Mama Benvenuti's Tomato Aspic Suppositories. Don't shove them, love them. That's Mama Benvenuti, a name you can thrust. <laughs> well, who's your housewives? If you saw last week's show, I bet you don't think this show is gonna be near as good as it, because last week we had Mrs. Vilma Rosenswag from Terre Haute, Indiana, and she was telling us about her new book called A Thousand and Ways, A Thousand and One Ways to Make Gourmet Foods with Head Cheese. Now, there was lots of good things. My special favorite was Head Cheese Freeze, a delicious dessert drink. It beats those smoothies just for miles and miles. Head Cheese is good, good for the character too. So thank you, Mrs. Vilma Rosenswag. Now, who wants to know what's on this week's show? I want to know. Well, that's real good, because we ain't going to tell you. Now, I want to tell you who's your housewife. I've been getting lots of calls on the Head Cheese hotline saying, Clem, we sure like your down-home Indiana recipes, but what about some Chinese-like food? So I said, damn, there ain't no Chinese restaurants in Indiana, is it? I was looking in the phone book, and I found one in Lafayette, Indiana. It's called What's Wong? And, and I'm, I'm going to take their specialty, which combines a little Indiana with a little Chinese-like food. And I know you're going to want to jot this down, Hoochie Hopswatch, because we're going to teach you how to make sweet and sour brown schwager. <laughs> now, Hoochie Hopswatch, I want to tell you something real, real serious. There's a lot of counterfeit brown schwager going around Indiana. Watch out for it. Now, your brown schwager should be the same color as your flesh. Now, the way you can tell it is put a little bit on the cheek before you cook with it. It's a hell of a good facial at night. Okay, now what you do, excuse me, this is very valuable. Okay, now you need to squeeze it out like that. There we are. Does that look good? Can anybody like to lick the envelope? Okay. Now, everybody knows that for sweet and sour anything, what do we need? We need a sweet and we need a sour. Oh, you know, for the sour first, every Hoosier housewife has this delicious thing it's called Miracle Whip. Now, we're gonna just put a big, big dollop here, just like thisy. Now, I wanna tell you something, Mary. Now, I wanna tell you who's your housewife. If you order this at Wadi Swan, they need 72 hours warning, because they like to sit in the pan in the hot sun for 72 hours, so it gets nice and brown and tangy. So this, we can compensate by putting just a little more in there, and maybe putting under a burner or something. It should get kinda rancid by about five minutes from now. Okay, so we got the brown swag and we got the sour. What do we need? A sweet, that's right, everybody, a little slow. How about tang? Tang, the man will make breakfast. Just put the sand down and be liberal with this astronauts like it. There we are. Yes, sweet. Now, you see how this looks who's your housewife? This is all you gotta do. You gotta go room and boo and boo and boo. Now, go ahead, lick your fingers. This is delicious. Bye bye and see. What you gonna do? You just stick it in your microwave block. And in about 20 minutes, you have a fantabulous Chinese-like entree. Now, if you like my guests at my house, about this time, you put it in the microwave walk. You're all sitting around going, I've got nothing to eat around here. There's nothing to eat. Clam doesn't serve no food. Clam doesn't want to serve no food. Well, tell them to shut up your ass, because we have more food. <laughs> How about a nice little horse to over? Wouldn't that be good? Now, I know people on the East Coast like something called pate de foie gras with truffles or something like that. Well, there ain't no geese in yet. But I tell you one thing, it's a hell of a lot of stray cats. And that's why I dare any of my Hoosier housewives to identify this. Now, this is from a nice Max who was uh, stupidly walking past my house. And he also was delicious. He also made a little sub gum lice from his fur. What we do is we take this delicious cat liver and throw it in here. And, uh, you know, uh, we don't have any truffle moose here in Indiana, but we have plenty of fun here. So we take the fun here and you mix that in there. and your guests will not believe it! Okay, so we got a nice pat tape or paint, and we got a nice sweet and sour brunch wire. Is that all? Uh-uh. Because we, we need a green vegetable, don't we, everybody? Now, here's a nice vegetable, isn't it? This is called a green pepper, isn't it? Now, the green pepper, we used to have them stuffed in high school. They were stuffed with this rancid meat and rice. It sucked. Yeah. <laughs> In Indiana, because we do things a little differently, let me reach under the Funyuns, and for your guests, we're gonna fill them up. Where, where the hell is this with these maraschino-like cherries? We just fill them up like that. Just fill them up. <laughs> then, see, I got a maraschino tree outside my bedroom window. I pick them every morning. Okay, so we got maraschino cherries, stuffed pepper. We got brown 
crunch like a sweet and sour, and we got picked with a gut of a Manx cat. What more can you ask Hoosier Housewives? Now, I want you all to tune in next week because I'm going to show you how to make fudge from carp. Thank you very much.